regression is something that we do at any moment in time whenever you speak about something you have a reference to it and that reference is regressing either in this lifetime or coming from somewhere else i come from india in india regression a past life reincarnation is as common as sleeping eating drinking it's very common so it's nothing new for us but regression therapy yes specialized techniques for therapy that is what we needed and i think the western world has given that to us so in my opinion regression therapy uh, is important if we need to move forward in life you need to look back from where you came what is it that works for you what is it that doesn't work for you and you move forward with the strength of what works for you regression is going to the back uh, the source of your problem you cannot change the past but you can change the block emotions you can change what is holding you many of the cases actually or clients comes mostly about relationship issues or they have success problems at their work something is blocking or uh, physical illnesses it can be any kind of problem but the regression is really peeling it as an onion it's about moving it's about releasing the stuck up parts because people come when they feel stuck either in a belief a postulate a, a thought energy work the way regression therapy works it it goes to the point of origin of that issue wherever it may be unleashes that potential helps to move and movement brings about a change when you have a problem actually solution is also in the problem what we do we show to the client a uh, solution in the problem then you need to go back to the problem when trauma occurs it impacts the physical mental emotional and spiritual uh reality of the person the problem that happens is we have the new cortex which is the thinking brain so we try and make sense of what of the trauma that occurs the new cortex that that draws a conclusion and and so we make decisions that are polarized i will never again trust anyone um uh, i'm worthless i'm not worth having it and these core beliefs become locked into the physical mental emotional reality of the person so what you have is you have the trauma and then it becomes encapsulated in time and space locked in with the belief that we've established because of the trauma what we found with regression therapy is that if you go back to before just before the trauma occurred and then you go through the trauma that breaks up the energy that's impacted once you break up the energy then you have to work with the body and release the emotions you could not feel or release the somatics that are associated with the trauma and then we have to work with the viewpoint that locked it in place it's a cause and effect relationship we must get to the cause to completely eliminate the effects and that's the real strength of regression therapy the factors that are influencing healing in regression therapy is to help the person to be connected with herself this is the most important it's to provide a state of consciousness that the person can be aware of who is she or he and know what is the content of the uh, unconscious. You see, all these cultures, uh, uh, India, for instance, uh, which accepted reincarnation, all the Buddhist tradition, uh, um, the ancient Greek tradition, the ancient Egyptian tradition, they have all of those. They have a lot of things to give us. And if we study all this material, we will be able to, to discover that these things we are right now finding, they knew very well at that time. You're not your body. You know, you are uh, a multi-dimensional being with functioning on many different levels at any given moment. And why not explore those levels? Why not explore the most fascinating planet there is, which is yourself? <laughs>